All right, all right, we get to Parramatta, uh, who I think everyone's jumped off a little bit too early because their issues aren't to next year, but they've lost Mitch Rain. Uh, they've picked up Mitch Rain, I should say. Bailey Simonson and uh, Tupalutu. They've lost Fergo to Japanese jail. Hipgrave, who's retired. <laughs> Sam Hughes, oh, Lussick, no. Oldfield, and Will Smith. <laughs> and, um, Does Oldfield get a game? No, they've lost him. He's gone. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's released. I don't know where he is. He's probably playing for... Um, could have Mundo Cowboys cool. or something. Mm. But uh Gleeg Dirty Reds <laughs> on the Reds. So uh their top seventeen looks a little bit like Gutho at the moment. Siv- and Sivo's out for <laughs> the first half of the year. Yes. Gutho Simonson, Penasini, Blake, Dunster. Hayes Perham. Hayes Perham will probably end up in front of those two, to be honest. Uh and what's my notes here? Brown Moses. Here comes after Brown Moses, RCG. Marnie Paulo, Lane Madison, Brown, Papa Ihi, Stone, Kafusi, Bryce Cartwright, Nia Corre suspended for the first couple. Um, Papa Ihi, that's actually wrong. Papa Ihi will start somewhere there in their wacky mixed up world. <laughs> uh, what what do we make of Para? Uh, Ollie, you can start. What do you make of BA's last, the back end of last year, moving the Ford pack around, burning. What do you make of Parramatta? Go on, well, a lot of people are saying this is the end of their premiership window. I thought their premiership window well and truly shut at the end of 2020. Like, that's I thought I, you were going to say 67. I, whatever it is. I, I, don't think so. I, I don't know. I don't think like, we've got... They, they, I, I don't think there's any argument. chance of they should, have, they should have beaten Penrith in that final. I don't think yeah. so. Like it, Both teams were... Rel- like, there were plenty of errors in that game from both teams. At the end no, of the Paris day, Junior him. Paulo's the one who drops that clean ball as well. They lost that game. Even if they beat Penrith, I don't care if they beat Melbourne twice during the season. I in no way, shape or form could have seen them beating Melbourne in that last... I didn't say that. I just said that No, they, but that, that's just me having them yeah. not as contenders... Because I know people will say, "Well, if they'd beaten Penner, you know, they'd beat Melbourne twice." I don't care. They um, the hooker would have won the game for him. I don't there. think. And if they're a contender oh, at and all. how bad was yeah the stone. service out of Stone was disgraceful. But anyway, Parramatta yeah. are a team that'll finish seventh. They are safe to make the eight. I think. I think eighth is up for grabs. I think Para is safe in seventh. That's what I'm going to say. Mitch Moses. Hopefully, he can continue his form from last year, but I've noticed something with Moses. He had a really good 2017, crap 2018, really good 2019, crap 2020, and was ended up being Parra's best player just about in 2021 when everyone else dropped off. Like So this year, going off of history, will be his down year. I hope it's not because he, when he's on, he's an entertaining player to watch. He brings a lot to Parramatta. I d- still don't see him as a premiership winning halfback. Um, I'm probably tipping probably he ends up at the Tigers by the end of the year, to be honest. Like, even more than Leilua to the Cowboys, whether that's a knock-on effect or not, I think it's a smart move by Papali if he was to go to the Tigers a year early in terms of monetary reasons, and that's fine. Earn your money, whatever. I see this team running seventh. I see them probably going out in the first week of the finals. They are what they are. They're para, and then dropping out of the top eight next year until they come back and rewind. I don't have anything against Brad Arthur as a coach. I think he has the potential maybe to one day lead an NRL team to a premiership. I don't know whether he will or or won't, but just not this one. As I said with Ricky Stewart, there does come an expiry date with coaches with a team. Doesn't he have three wooden spoons and zero? Yeah, but I I think maybe with... Well, he also had the worst team ever that he inherited from (laughs) Ricky Stewart. I just think that it's coming to its ceiling, its expiry date. I think that Brad Arthur's ceiling with Parramatta was only ever going to be fourth, which they finished... In 2020, I thought differently that they could have gone on and win the comp maybe in that year. But I've now realised I think that's as far as you can go. It's not that Arthur's a bad coach or anything, but I think it's just mutually beneficial to part ways. He goes somewhere else, the Eagles look for something different after this season, realistically, if they do run seventh, like I'm predicting. And I think this year's the last year of his contract too. So They just resigned. No, they didn't sack him last year when there were rumours they'd sack him. Oh, they I said they'd resigned. keep him Never on. Mind. Carry on. Um, Gumpy? Yeah, I think that I agree with a lot of what Ollie said. I don't think they'll be any worse a team or any better. I think that they'll they'll be fifth, sixth around that point. Yeah. I think that they're, they're, they're a bit behind the top four teams. But, look, they haven't gotten any worse. They've, they've lost no one of note and gained no one of note, really. They lost Fergo and, and got Bailey Simonson. So you're getting probably... 
much like of a for like in, in yep. terms of and that. And let's be honest, uh, Makasevo is not a big loss for the, like and then, really. No, and then other than that, the way he turns around to go and get a ball that's well, kicked behind like him, it's like the Queen Jesus. QE two turning oh. around. But he's well exposed. Look, I th- I think that um, you know that's where they are. They've got a good forward, really good forward pack. Mitchell Moses. Again, if he, he has his year on, year off, then Para might fall off. But yeah. I think he's a bit older now and, and a bit wiser in, in terms of his ability. I hope, like, I genuinely hope so. I really, really like Will Penasini. Yeah, um, very, very good player. And I've got a couple of mates that, that coach out at Parramatta that said, and look, I was a bit critical. They reckon Jake Arthur is doing unbelievably okay. well yeah, in in preseason yeah. and looks a different player. As put on some so weight. What it, so what does it mean? That put on some. Well, I don't 14? know that it means anything much, Daggy, because Moses and Brown will play yeah. Yeah. in the half. But the thing, end of the day, he's a, he was a coat hanger. So if he's bogged out, Correct. there is. So there, yeah. there, 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 there's very good reports coming out. And they've got some really good kids coming through. And I think that that's what they're relying on when they probably lose players next year, that they're going to have players ready-made Free up some cash, to, to come in. Some to come if, in if, if, and, you know, if they're, if they're a genuine club and they can see that in five years' time, hey, don't worry, we've got the hope. Well, even in two years. And then they free if up they, a If they've got faith, and, and it's massive faith, and, 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 and the fans are going to spew because para fans are the name. worst. Yeah. Para fans are as bad as South fans and St George fans, but and but um, <laughs> if they can see the faith three years down the road, then that's mess. That, then good. Well, on. that's the thing. You know what? In about three years' time, I don't know where they'll necessarily be as a club, but Parramatta will look completely different to this season. Yeah, I think they're about to go through a big rebuild. Like as I said, I think that's this is the last the cards, year they. So. This is the last year they make the eight, and Parramatta fans will complain and be disappointed because, as he said, that's just. Yeah, how I've seen a lot of them act, but I would sort of, whether it's a new coach or not, it, it just seems you've sort of got to trust the po- process. It's the natural life cycle of a team. They've missed their opportunity to win a comp. They're now going to drop right down, and it's how they react from there. It's not necessarily the dropping down, but drop it's how... Right I don't think they drop down. Well, 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 actually, like, I think they'll miss the eight. I, I know this is predicting for 2023, but I can't see them oh, making the I, eight. I'd like, agree with that. That, that. But I'm actually out. I'm actually going to be quite bullish about Paramount this yeah, year. I, I think they're going to... I think they're going to be borderline top four. I don't think they're going to win the comp by any means, but I think they're going to... You've got to remember how much a this comp sucks. I know. <laughs> but like, look, I, I would bank on, personally now in, in the order, I think Parramatta will beat South Home. I agree. Absolutely. And that's what, and that's what I, I would do. I think Parramatta 100%. will beat South Home. A- and and what? if Turbo got injured, they'd probably beat Manly Home. That puts them in the top four mm-hmm. in this comp. 100%. And that's what I'm saying. This and might agree be me. It. And then I'm saying I that... I think Parramatta um, will finish closer to first than South will finish... Yeah, 100%. Uh, I agree. So that's what I I'm saying. I think South will be lucky to make the eight. To so, be honest. well, that's a big call, but we'll get to that. Yeah. But what I'm saying about Para is that the one thing they do is learn to pace Gutho better because he is. He, and it, it's just a fact. He burns himself out come round 14, 15. They get to Origin, burns himself out. But they. I think Mitch Moses came back from Origin last year a different player. I was so impressed by what he did for his background. I think. And last... I've, I've been wrong before, and, and I've been his biggest critic. So I'm happy to. Bank on the fact he's going to come out firing. Uh, so Gutho will have a partner in crime. Sivo won't be a loss. And their forward back is really, really good. Like RCG's had the best probably three years of his They've career. They've probably got the best forward pack in, in the if they all turn paper. Up. Paulo uh, is waking up. Madison seems to be half on the outer. Puppy, if they fit him back in there. And then Nathan Brown wants to be there. So they've got so many assets and... 100% agree with what you're saying is that they are a better team than Souths. They are probably a better team than Manly. So they have to probably finish fourth. Uh, and if they get a bit right, if um, and if Bailey Simonson produces some of those efforts he did in those games for Canberra last year, mm-hmm. he produces stuff here. I think I can see them doing really well. I'm tipping them borderline top four, and I'm tipping uh, both Gutho and Moses to have, have big, big years. Uh, it... it the thing is, they're on this seesaw where it could just all flip and then Puppy goes, I don't want to be here anymore, fuck it, I'm out. And next minute, it's all done. Barney, what do you make yeah, of Yeah, well, about? halfway through the year, if it's going and rough, And one big question for everyone after that. But deciding to get out early. But I think um, 
as Gump said, I don't think they've lost anything. I don't think they've gained much through the trade period. But um, they've got a really strong squad, and I expect them to c- continue on with everything they did last year. Um, I really like their hooker. I can see him being the best hooker in the game yeah. in the next couple of years. Um, well, it's good for the Bulldogs Reed, in 2023. Mahoney, I'm quite um, happy to have him. Oh, mate. But to not even mention he's him. He's a brilliant defensive hooker, oh. and he is his service off the ground, you generally don't see much better. He hits hits them where they need it. Um, he'll, he'll even cut out halfbacks and hit the 5-8 to make sure that the ball's going where it so, needs to go. And Gumpy, he seems Gumpy, to be able to read the play. Well, Gumpy early... Talked a lot about spines. I would rate theirs probably the third best in the well, comp. Well, settled nice. again. It settled. They and, know and there's a question mark. But yeah, what it is? What it is they're doing? And, and he seems to know when to run. He's quick. He um he can break tackles as well. He's only a little guy, but he seems to be able to brush off front rowers when they're trying to grab hold of him. And um, you know, then a lot of that comes off the back of that. Um, Mitch Moses, I thought he probably had the best year of his entire career last year. And um, if he can deliver the same or even better than what he gave last year. I actually think they're going to improve on what they had last year. You've already mentioned the extremely good forward pack that they've got. Um, Brown was disappointing last year, and if he offers anything more than what he offered last year, that's only a tick. Well, the here's the one I want to ask about, because as you know, Danon was very bullish on him. Well, yeah, with the Supercoach show, because yes. he was still punching out really good base stats. But he just, some he was a different he just, player. So yeah, he, he, does he come back or does he, he move He wasn't on? setting up attacking stats, but he obviously... Here's the one I ask you about, Barnett. So you know, is he back or are we moving on from him? Well, I had tipped him last year to have... I, oh, I thought he was going to be him, the yeah. player of the year. So um, if, if that's, you know, I'll, I'm, I'll back him in um, for this this year. Ollie, Dylan Brown, down on... <laughs> down on. <sighs> yeah or nay? I'd... Nay, but let's just say he is done. I then think Harris Tavita is a certainty to end up at Para because I don't think they're too dissimilar a player. So I think he could be the replacement. Gumpy? Down with Dylan, Dylan Brown, yes or no? Yes. You reckon he'll bounce back? Yes. He, he might have succumbed to what you call the second year syndrome last year. I think Dylan, look, I know Dylan Brown and I. Yeah, I'll put faith in Dylan Brown to do the and, job. And, and if he comes back, and we'll get back to you never, if he comes back, how much more dangerous are Parramatta now? Absolutely. That's why I've got him finishing fourth, and I mm. think they are actually a genuine title contender. Because he just um, was a non-entity last yeah, year. He was. If you put him back into that spine, you have one. You have the whole spine. Yeah, so I've got him finishing fourth, and I, I think they will challenge at the yeah, back I'm gonna, end of the year. I'm going to put some faith in Dylan Brown. I guess to give some context to my prediction of them finishing seventh, I think they're more likely to finish fifth than eighth, if you get what I mean. They're yeah. in that mould with a mm-hmm. Manly and a Cronulla. As a matter of fact, I know this is me seeing them a bit less than you guys, but I think they're sort of on par with Cronulla right now. Sort of two ships passing in the night. This is para, this is Cronulla for me, and they're sort of meeting, but I don't. I, I would not be worried if I was Parramatta about missing the top eight at all, even though I've got them seventh. They're, just, they're going to be there. I, tr- I try and compare teams and... And you've brought up their Parramatta and Cronulla, right? I, I see them as sort of on par this I year. I agree, yeah. but how many Cronulla players would you pick in your Parramatta first 13? How many okay, Cronulla yeah. players would you pick in, in Parramatta's I, first 13? I guess I'm sort of basing this a, a little of bit on... Yeah, yeah. That'd be about it. I, I, yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. Fanukin, I agree, but I'm also sort of basing this on what I think many. we're going to see at the no, end of the season. Absolutely not. Two. Yeah. So, so in, in and Nico that, would be out of position, and we can only go on paper now, right? Yeah. What Correct. we think. Yeah. So, I think if you look at the squads right now, and both teams play to their potential, I think Parramatta will win five more games than Cronulla. Correct. Correct. Right now, but I think I'm sort of looking as well towards the throughout the whole it's year really as well. Look at it, I just, yeah. I agree, but I think by the end of the season, it, it ask me this at the end of yeah. the season as well. I personally feel like I will be chucking a few more Cronulla players in there. That's because the Cronulla players Who? as well. We'll see. No, I'm just asking. I just like feel he's saying right now. Well, one could be Nico over Dylan Brown. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Possibly. And Fanu could go in over Sean Lane. Possibly the back five. I mean, if Gutho like drops off. Will Kennedy's no, not a bad no, player. He, that's no, that's different. I think no, it's, no, yeah, I think it's a possibility. No, 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 no. Maybe. I think it's, it's still maybe, a I think like a, like, a, by the end of the year. Brown, possibly. Right now, yeah, no, wait. Right now. But Brown. Um, Ramian, Molotalo. Finnegan's going to play in the front row. You wouldn't. Oh, you might pick Finnegan over RCG, but 
you'd be lucky to get three. Yeah, if you just put Finucane in the second row against the head of Sean Lane. You'd be lucky to get three. And Sean Lane the, won't be in Parramatta's so, top side. No. So there you go. You and it seems three, like three in there at the so it's, it's a, if you look at it, yeah, if you look at that, it's a very, yeah. very good way. This is something that we're probably going to keep coming to throughout the season, but keep coming to me with this. And, and at the end of the year, when we do yeah, a reveal, we'll bring whatever, it, bring, bring this question yeah, up. Of course. Yeah. And, I'm going and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You to remember it, and it's on you to remember. Oh, we'll remember yeah. Look, I'm not saying anyone's wrong or right. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. simply looking at it on paper. Yeah. Now, because the only we do is like doing the form. It's A plus B. He's on paper at the moment. With squads yeah, and what we've seen of players over a 15-year career or five minutes in the league. Yeah. That's why I've got Parramatta finishing fourth and the Sharks finishing well, sixth. Agree. Okay. 